Hello again. Hello again. Here's Abe. And here's Alessandro. Yeah. And we are continuing our uh, series of uh, talks, uh, sorry, talks, <laughs> videos on why we like when we move to Open Render and why it is our uh, def default tool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to compare both, uh, I think we have to explain that there's different aspects mm -hmm. here uh, to compare. Mm -hmm. uh, one side is the language. Mm -hmm. So often uh, you work with processing with Java. Mm -hmm. And with OpenRNDR, you these days you use Kotlin. Kotlin. Mm -hmm. This is one side. Mm -hmm. Another side is the API. Mm -hmm. well, how would you define that? The API is basically the set of uh, classes, definition, you know, commands that allow you to do basic things from say uh, um, some vectors to draw line on the screen. Yeah. Okay. It's all the the names of the functions, for example, exactly. how you call line, circle, mm -hmm. ellipse, mm -hmm. uh, what are the parameters, yeah, what, what exactly. types are the exactly. parameters. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and yeah, this API can be used like outside of just this ID. Funny enough, you don't see the API when you use the, um, the standard way of using processing because something behind the hood happens, mm -hmm. like, you know, the fact that this is a p-applet and there is some something that is happening behind yeah. in a Java world in a certain sense. Mm -hmm. But you could, in principle, use this API from a Java, Java IDE like Eclipse, yeah. say like this. Or um, IntelliJ, yeah. Or IntelliJ, well, can, yeah. We can go get back to that. But, yeah, but I just want to point those three things, mm -hmm. the language, the API, and the third point is the tool mm -hmm. that we use to write the code. Mm -hmm which we can see right now on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, often with processing, you use the processing ID. Correct. And with OpenRNDR? Use IntelliJ. Yeah. This would be, I would say that this would be like the default mode of usage. Yeah. Okay. It's mm -hmm. a bit like, I don't want to say the intended mode of usage, mm. but I yeah. think we can use also this yeah. word, right? Most of the users will be faced by these two um, of, of frameworks and context, mm -hmm. IntelliJ uh, and Open Render, and uh, processing ID. I mm -hmm. don't even know how is it called. Yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. processing ID. Okay, yeah. good. Um, and yeah, this is these are like the defaults. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to make this point that there are mm -hmm. those three aspects mm -hmm. because you can work with processing inside uh, the same IDE like with OpenRNDR. Mm -hmm. So you can use. IntelliJ IDEA or mm -hmm. another one mm -hmm. for both of them. And you can also use Kotlin mm -hmm. in both of them, mm -hmm. which uh, for me makes the language a bit more pleasant, uh, mm -hmm. like hardcore Java developers yeah. sometimes hate it. <laughs> so basically, basically the API stays the same, but the yeah. language that you use changes yeah. from Java mm. to uh, Kotlin. I mean, and I think you can do it because Kotlin is a Java, yeah. uh, you know, relative, yeah. let's say like this. So the transition is not brutal. Yeah. You could not do this with open frameworks because that's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. A different language. That's a, that's a different language, so yeah. And um, maybe to clarify this mm -hmm. is the reason this is possible is because both Kotlin and Java are J the Java, JVM yeah, languages. On the Java virtual machine. Yeah. And the, when you run the program, they're actually producing the same kind of executable. Mm -hmm. The same binary, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you can mix even on the same program mm -hmm. Java and Kotlin, mm -hmm. and it's compatible. So I wanted to clarify this because then when you're choosing or you're seeing what you like more, then some things are not like hard coded. Like yeah. you can use you can choose the IDE and you mm -hmm. can use choose the language. Mm -hmm. uh, but then well in our case we are choosing one API. Yeah, but we also have to say that the processing ID mm -hmm. is what the vast majority uh, of user of users uh, use yeah. and of what people refer to when they say I use processing. Mm -hmm. Like in the vast majority of cases, they are using the processing ID. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's fair to say. In, in my case, I transitioned in using those steps. So mm -hmm. first I switched to a better IDE mm -hmm. uh, or better for my case, mm -hmm. uh, because when working with larger projects with many files, then mm -hmm. it helps organize the code and understand mm -hmm. what is what. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I did that switch, and then at some point I discovered Kotlin and mm -hmm. OpenRNDR, but I 
I wanted to still use processing, so I was using Kotlin uh, and uh, mm -hmm. processing. Mm -hmm. And finally, then I switched. Co yeah, for instance, I didn't do this, <laughs> uh, this switch. I went directly to yeah. Kotlin and Open Render. I did this work for Alessandro. And yeah, then exactly. <laughs> and, and then I was convinced enough. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> then I, for instance, for me, I have to say at the beginning, um, and maybe some some of the listeners might share this. The um, obstruction was to go to an uh, ID mm -hmm. and say, "Oh, I need this extra structure." Mm -hmm. You know, the processing ID feels so comfortable at the beginning because yeah. you know you don't have to install anything. You don't have this mm -hmm. uh, list of uh, large list of files that you can see and say, "Oh my God, what is what is, what is all of this?" Yeah. Um, uh, and this was at the beginning, but then somehow I got very comfortable because of work using IDEs that this was not uh, a barrier anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's when I moved to Open Render. Yeah. Uh, so this just to say that different people may have different uh, yeah, barriers for yeah. which they, they change uh, frameworks. The processing ID is simpler. It just has mm -hmm. these menus with those options. Mm -hmm. And in... In IntelliJ, then you have many more options. And many options, yeah. Complex tools. And, and if you look, I mean, even the fact that you look at the folder structure and you see all these things yeah. inside there, mm -hmm. and you say, "Oh my God, <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, do I have to do I have to know what is inside any of this folder? Do I have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How much of my uh, direct intervention is needed now to mm -hmm. have this thing run. It can be a bit overwhelming. It at the can beginning. be at the beginning a bit overwhelming, but uh, I went over this uh, barrier mm -hmm. and I've never been back. So yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. we now we have clarified the, these these three aspects mm -hmm. uh, that we can be comparing. Yeah. Uh, let's pause here and then we can get started with specific. Exactly. Yeah. We want we want to show in part, we want to start in particular with the processing ID and show you part of the API mm -hmm. and how it works and how similar things work in Open Render yeah. and things you can achieve. Mm -hmm. See, See you in you the next episode very soon. Mm -hmm. Bye.